Okay, so now we're going to do a basic, uh, real simple injection. So what we're going to do is open up the protocol here. We're going to choose a fluorescence injection, and I'm going to open up the template that I created for this protocol. So what we're going to do in this one is we're going to do three level kinetic windows. So our initial window is going to be, I'll show you the windows here. Our initial window is going to be the baseline recording before any injection happens. The second kinetic window is going to be the actual injection window. And the third window is going to be the long um, high definition measurement cycle after that injection has happened. So what we do in the parameters is we go in here and we enter three for the number of kinetic windows. And when we click on that arrow, all three windows show up. So what we want to do first is we want to have 10 intervals for or 10 readings for the first baseline and 10 flashes is fine for that at 0.1 seconds per interval. And all that means is 0.1 times 10 equals one second. So the total time is one second after the end of the first interval. Then we're going to do our injection at one second. Um, and that injection time is going to be at the end of two seconds. Then we're going to start reading and we're going to read 50 periods, 50 intervals at the same time. And that'll be a total of eight seconds. So what we're going to do in the concentration section is we're going to turn on the pump for the injector. We're going to enter the pump volume, the speed that we would like, and the volume is over here. So if we put in 100 microliters for that and we click on the top of volume one, it's going to enter 100 for each of those wells that we've defined. If I go over here to check timing now, it's going to tell us how long is required for that 50 seconds total measurement time. In the injection timing section, you can see here um, when we're going to start injecting at two seconds. And that's all based on the kinetic windows. So we can we can start injecting here at one second or at two seconds. It's totally up to, um, to you when you do it. So if I put in one second here and click on the timing overview, it's going to show me that we're going to measure, then we're going to inject, and then we're going to measure again. So um, this, this timing overview window really shows you exactly what's going to happen um, in, that, uh, in that measurement period of time. So if, if I, again, if I change the injection to two and I go back and look at the timing overview, then my uh, window is going to change. So I'm going to measure a baseline, I'm going to inject, and then I'm going to measure a high resolution um, scanning over 50 periods there. So once that's done, and we've set up our layout of just the first lanes here, then when we run that assay, we're just going to double click on the protocol. We're going to say, I'm going to put in here a third run from 100 microliters. This is just a notation for me, 200 microliters. We've set our gain adjustment on the first well, and now we're going to begin measuring. So now this measurement is going to have three kinetic windows. And we'll open up this display here so you can see what's going on. So the first one is going to be a baseline measurement. Then it's going to have the injection. And then it's going to be the long 50-point injection measurement period after the injection happened. So again, if we go to the third window, it'll start in just a second, you'll see the 10 points, then the injection, then the measurement. And you can see the change real time that's happening with that baseline injection and read again. And we're measuring those points right on the fly as it happens. And you can see all of those values happening real time for each of the wells. So that's the, that's the basics of um, doing a kinetic measurement with injections on the system.